What is going on guys, Jack here and welcome to a Football Manager Tips and Tricks video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to turn a photo of yourself, a celebrity, whoever you want to have a photo of, and convert it into a regen-like face uh, that you can then use for your manager profile on um, Football Manager. So what you can see on screen is a Barack Obama uh, example I've just thrown together. I'm going to be showing you basically step-by-step -step how to do this. It's it's not the fastest process ever, but once you've done it once, it becomes very easy to repeat. Um, for this, you're going to need one facial picture of your chosen manager person. So I've got an example of the original image here. This was the image that I used for the example I'll be showing you. Uh, you're going to need a shirt or suit or tracksuit top. So I'm going to be using this Real Madrid kit. Uh, and then you're going to need either GIMP or Photoshop. Now, I know everyone doesn't have Photoshop. Uh, GIMP is a free alternative to Photoshop, which is very similar. For the benefit of this video, I'm going to be explaining it and what I do through Photoshop. However, GIMP is incredibly similar, and it shouldn't be too hard for you guys to follow along in GIMP. Uh, and the final thing, I guess the final kind of jigsaw in the puzzle is FaceGen Modeler, which is actually the software that's used to make the regens anyway on Football Manager. It's for Windows only, so if you're a Mac user such as myself, you're either going to need a Windows petition, or a separate laptop that you can just load up FaceGen Modeler on, or Parallels, which is something that allows you to run Windows applications on a Mac. So they're the four main things you're going to need. Uh, let's crack on straight with this. So uh, I've got an image here. It's really important when you come to this that this image that you're going to be using for your face is in JPEG format or .bitmap format. If you have it in PNG, it won't be recognized by the software. So now that you've got your face, we're not even going to be using Photoshop to begin with. We're going to go straight to Face Gen Modeler. So I'll join you guys on my Windows partition of my Mac. Okay guys, so just a quick heads up, uh, the audio recording for this is done after the video, I'm going to be watching this back, talking you through it, unfortunately for me my capture software decided it didn't want to capture my voice. So what you can see on the left hand side is just a quick mess around preview thing that I did, uh, and on the right the photo that I'm going to be using of Barack Obama in JPEG format, uh, just quickly showing you how the 3D modelling software works. Of course for this we're only going to be using a 2D photo fit of the uh, Barack Obama photo you can see on the right. So anyway, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the photo fit tab at the top uh, that FaceGen Modeler has and then you'll see three kind of potential photos where you can upload. You only need to worry about the top one which is the front image. So all I'm doing is I'm putting the Barack Obama photo and loading it up and now you'll see these green points appear. All you need to do is match them up with the facial features you can see on the right. So literally you've just got to drag and drop them and move them into position to line up the eye ones with the eyes etc etc. Uh, don't worry too much about how precise you do it on this first kind of mapping selection because you will get an option in a second uh, on a larger image to really precisely place the points. Uh, just another thing is that sometimes you'll get an error message saying that the photo fit could not be done because the placements weren't right or it wasn't recognized as a face. Uh, most of the time that just means that maybe some of your green markers just aren't where they're meant to be and if you look like you've got them in the right place and it's still not working, the ones either side of the ears um, can be changed and if you move them up at slightly higher than the nose then usually that'll solve your problem. So here just doing some final kind of more precise tweaks on the larger image screen and then we will be good to go with the loading up of the back Barack Obama photo into an EFET. So this software is pretty clever. What it basically does is it converts uh, any facial uh, photos you have into um, a 3D model, much like a EA game face. Uh, I think they're using that. I've not really had a chance to experiment with that myself, but I know that EA are doing something similar, whereby you take a photo of yourself and um, you can import yourself into the game. So you just just got to wait for 20 to 60 seconds for the uh, kind of photo uh, fit to be done. Uh, I recommend on the box where it says preserve facial hair and detail texture that you have that ticked. It'll mean it takes slightly longer but it'll get stuff like the wrinkles, any like facial hair that the person or the photo of the person that you have has and it'll try and get that as best as it can replicated into the photo fit. So, once the photo fit is done, uh, you will see on the preview screen on the left, um, 
your chosen image imported onto the photo fit face uh, from this you'll have a few sliders you can play around with I'll show you what they do in a second but basically they affect um, how detailed the texture is of the face so you can see here we have Barack Obama on the left uh, and if you play with the sliders you're able to kind of play with the depth and stuff obviously because it's the regen face you're going to want a profile front on view so if you just click on the preview and drag you can rotate the camera to a square on picture and then what you can see here is me fiddling with the texture uh, settings uh, in the two uh, sliders and these will basically affect how um, detailed it is but anyway once you've got something you're happy with and you've got the camera positioned in just the right place so it's nice and square on all you need to do is go to file uh, save as and then name your file and it'll be in bitmap format and now that we've done that we've completely finished with the face gen software so i can join you back over on photoshop or gimp to show you the next part of the video Okay guys, so we are now done in Face Gen Modeler. Uh, you can close that and we're now going to be on to the final proportion of this video, which is going to be using GIMP and Photoshop. So hopefully if you've done the previous step back with the Face Modeler software, uh, you will have a nice looking bitmap file which will look something like this. Now you want to move this into a uh, image or well, Photoshop document that has a canvas size of 180 pixels by 180. This is the standard size for a regen face. If you have anything bigger than this, uh, proportions of the image will be cut out when you import it. So now that we have this face, uh, you're going to want to get rid of the black background to begin with. So we're going to have the Obama layer uh, selected, which is of course the render of the uh, face gen uh, kind of rendered face. Uh, click the black proportion with the magic wand tool selected and hit delete. Um, if you do this properly, uh, which I just failed at, it will get rid of the black bit. If it doesn't get rid of the black bit and you get an error message, right click on the layer and hit rasterize layer and then hit delete. What this will do is it will make the background of the uh, face clear and mean that when you put it into game, uh, the area around the face will be, uh, you know, the, your regular background colour so you won't have like one of those horrible kind of block colour backgrounds. So now that we've got this face, the first thing that's really going to stand out to you is the fact that because we're using the free version of Face Gen Modeler, there is a watermark on your screen. Uh, on the forehead, you know, it's staring like a sore thumb at you. The way to get rid of this is simply to use the eyedrop tool uh, to select a colour not far away from the SI uh, part of the forehead. Then get a brush and ensure that the colour that you have eyedropped is the colour that the brush is going to be. Have a nice soft brush with one of these faded out edges. Have the brush size at something that kind of 30, 35 is a good number and then just really kind of just click a few times away and eventually the watermark will be gone and there will be a, a pretty seemingly flawless kind of area as you can see here. So now that we've done that we have Obama's face nice and pretty but he doesn't have any hair. Uh, the face gen software does not render hair very well. It's As you can imagine it can be quite problematic with that kind of software to render hair properly. However, we are going to overcome that thanks to FM itself. Uh, in the, your Football Manager folders, there will be a file or folder called FaceGen. Now, it is really buried deep in the Football Manager fo folders, so I'm actually going to include uh, just written down in the description where it's actually located for you guys to go and find. Uh, but believe me, it is, it's a really kind of big hunt to try and get this. But anyway, in your FaceGen folder, there will be a hair folder. And in this hair folder there is a variety of hair styles and such. I actually have a few more than you'll probably have uh, because I have an add-on for my regen faces which improves regen uh, kind of face quality and gives you a bit more variety in your players. I'm going to include a download link to that in the description because I really recommend that you go and install that. It's a really kind of simple thing to install. It just makes all your regens look a lot better. But anyway, in this folder I'm going to be using an afro and a short afro at that because Obama does have a short afro and I know that this hairstyle here is the best one. So if I click on this and drag it into Photoshop you'll see it straight away goes into the document uh, and then from here if you go to edit and then free transform you can just scale it properly so it fits onto uh, I guess the uh, Obama's head in this case or whoever your person or player happens to be. Uh, sometimes it can be hard to get it to the right size uh, and sometimes it can be hard to find a hairstyle that really suits uh, but if you use the expansion pack that uh, well, the expansion kind of regen thing I've recommended it'll give you a few more hairstyles to play around with 
So now that we've got that, if you um, are a more advanced user of Photoshop, you may want to kind of play around with the darkness and stuff, which I'm just going to do really quickly. Uh, but if you're not, then don't worry too much. It, it looks quite nice as it is, but I'm just going to make it slightly darker by using a hue and saturation, clipping mask on the hair layer and turning down the lightness. So now that we have Obama, you're going to notice he kind of has no he has no shirt. Now uh, the mod kind of pack thing that I've explained about for the third time now uh, adds shoulders to your regions, and it's something that I really like to have. If you're happy with your person like that, feel free to keep them like that. However, for this example, I'm going to be copying and putting in a Real Madrid kit for Obama. So you want to make sure you have a render of the kit. You can go on Google, search render of, and then a kit. Uh, if you can't find any renders and it's just an image with a white background you can remove the background around the kit the same way that we remove the black background around the regen kind of players face uh, that got exported from face gen modeler so anyway when, once you've got your kit you're just going to want to copy and paste this into your uh, Photoshop uh, document uh, as shown and you're going to want to scale it down so edit free transform hold shift, drag the top left corner down and this will scale it down whilst keeping proportion and then from here you're just going to want to plonk it uh, for now now that we've done that zoom in and you're going to be able to work on your kit just a tiny bit so we're going to use the eraser tool here uh, we're going to just have a harsh brush so I'm going to go with a 15 with a nice smooth solid edge and you're basically going to remove the inner area of the shirt so you just have the collar showing uh, just a case of having a nice steady hand, working away at this a little bit at a time. And then once you've done that, just work on the edges of the collars. Of course, you don't have to use a football kit. You could always try adding a suit to your manager or, I don't know, a tracksuit top. You know, whatever you want. It's really up to you. You can use anything. Uh, you know, just take your time. Rub around the collar of the shirt as shown. So now that you've done that, you should have three layers. You should have your shirt layer on the top your hair layer and then your face player and that is pretty much it done guys so now all you have to do is go to file save for web and devices if you're on Win uh, Photoshop CS5 or below or if you're on one of the newer versions uh, CS6 or I think there's Photoshop premium or something it's a free download you can probably do that on this I'll link that in the description as well just hit save for web uh, and then from here go to PNG24 uh, where it says the preset area and then just hit save and then from there all you need to do is when you set up a manager profile on any new saves where it says photo simply select the photo that you've got the, from here so anyway guys I hope this video helped you uh, it's a pretty basic tutorial as I said it can be a bit tedious but it's pretty cool you, I mean you can do this with yourself uh, with another celebrity whatever you want it's kind of got no real kind of limits if you found this video useful, it'd be really great if you could give the video a cheeky like. It helps other people find the video. Uh, maybe if you're a fan site owner or you have friends on Twitter that follow you, or if you're another FM commentator, uh, you know, like the video, get it out there, spread the word. Um, this was something popular a while ago in the FM community. However, um, it hasn't been covered in a video as far as I'm aware ever, and it's something that not many people know about. So uh, if you learned something new this video, um, be sure to share, as I've said. Hope you enjoyed the video guys, go check out the FM Tips and Tricks playlist in the description uh, for more videos like this and a lot more kind of game related Tips and Tricks videos, this is something a little bit different, and other than that, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. It's me Jack, and I'm out.